this video, I will show you how you can use the Ableton Live 10 Lite version for your basic piano church worship setup. Check this video out. <laughs> Before we start, let me play something for you para tuloy-tuloy na tayo mamaya. Let's play. So that is what you get from this basic setup. So let me show you what I have done here to achieve that sound. Number one, naginawa ko dito is just a basic uh, grand piano na ano na preset dito sa Ableton Live Live. So eto uh, nandito siya sa my instrument section. Nasa instrument rack siya. When you open this up, you will see here piano and keys, and then you will see here this one, grand piano dot adg. So, idadrag mo lang yan dyan sa MIDI file number 1. And then, you get that piano sound. And then, when you get it here, nandito siya, nilagyan ko siya ng compressor para makuha mo yung compressed, trendy worship sound ng mga pianos ngayon. Um, less dynamic, pero nakukuha mo yung vibe. So, ganito siya. I will turn off the pads muna. Okay, piano lang muna tayo. sound. That is your compressed sound. Uh, actually, uh, pag hindi ko to gagamitin, so I'll just turn off this compressor. Turn off mo lang yan, and then you get a regular piano sound. Uh, it's good to have options para kung kailangan kung i-pull up yung sound na yun turn on ko lang yun. And then the next effect sa basic setup na to is yung reverb ng piano. This is just still a stock reverb ng Ableton Live Lite. So how do you get that? Uh, dito punta ka sa audio effects and then this reverb right here. Drag and drop mo lang dyan and then you get that reverb sound. Yung settings ko dito are naka high cut siya and low cut. Yung quality very important. Make it in a high quality para high quality siya. Okay. Uh, decay time is 3 seconds para mahaba yung decay. Listen to this. Yun. Yun yung decay. Or parang yung tail niya para mahaba siya. Yung sustain. Ayun, that's another term. And then yung dry and wet sound nasa 19 ako. Kasi ganito siya pag wala. That's without the reverb. Ito yung full reverb lahat. Strings na siya. <laughs> but when you dial it down to like uh, around ayun, 18. Saktong reverb lang. It's there, pero hindi siya in your face. Um, present siya, tone siya. Instead of rinig na rinig mo siya. I like it that way para medyo natural siya. And then the next one na very important sa setup na to is the pads. Kasi a worship environment is never complete without your holy pads. <laughs> so ayun, uh, ang pinili ko dito na pads is just uh, again a stock pad ng Ableton Live Lite. It's called the Marty Pad. Okay, Marty Pad. San mo siya nakikita? You can see it here sa pad and then scroll down right here, Marty pad, just below the Juno pad. So drag mo lang dyan sa MIDI file, MIDI number 2 and then you get it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, side note muna tayo. To control this smarty pad or any any source dito sa effects mo dito sa Ableton, you, you should press this button right here. Okay, itong button na to, itong red na may kulay. In default, naka-arm exclusive siya, meaning ganito yung default niya. Pag pinress mo to, naka-control mo siya. Okay? Pag pinress mo to, nawawala yung control sa isa kasi nga arm exclusive. Pumipili lang siya ng isang patch na i-control niya. So how do you do that? And ito, i-right click mo siya and then uncheck this arm exclusive para you can control as many voices or effects or patches that you want. So pag kinlik mo to, dalawa na sila para may nakukontrol ka ng pads. Tapos this can go a long way depende na sa'yo. But for this basic setup, ito lang muna. What are the things that I placed here? Okay, sa Marty Pad, naka-full yung filter cutoff niya. Uh, finul ko kasi gusto ko yung bright na sound na yun. Just in case, there's a big part sa song namin. Um, let me give you a taste of that. No? Eh, off ko muna tong ibang ano dito. sound na yan sa big part. Kasi, yung default ng Marty Pad nang dito eh. Pero, pag full mo yan, mas may brightness siya, mas malaki siya. So, that's very important to me. Now, the next one sa signal chain ko dito is yung auto filter. Uh, dito lang siya makikita sa audio effects and then auto filter para makontrol ko yung highs naman. Gusto kong open siya dito sa filter cutoff niya sa beginning kasi, I want to be able to control it so that in more intimate moments or more solemn moments, may pad ako na iba yung tunog, pero it's the same pad. Ito yung secret niya, guys. Okay, let me just sustain an ano dito, a chord. Ayun! So I can use this pad right here pag uh, gusto kong mag uh, intimate moment yung alam mo yun yung parang ayun i can use that pad tapos pag pinair mo yun sa piano mo ayun that is the vibe that you get okay that is why naka auto filter ako and then if there are big parts na sa song okay then i have that option as well pag sobrang big talaga so that is the concept of auto filter just a little control. Ito yung technique na ginagamit ng Jesus Culture, ng Bethel, ng Elevation. High pass filter lang yan, guys. So this is it. On a budget. <laughs> and then the reverb, uh, very important. You can't go a long way pag wala tong reverb. Um, this is what completes this signal chain right here. Reverb pag pads. You want it to be big. You want it to be wet. Ako, gusto kong, ano, um, gusto kong yung basang-basa siya talaga so that it fills the space, it fills the room. So, ito yung vibe niya pag may reverb na. Let me turn off the piano. Right there. Without the reverb, You may like that one, but I like this one better. Ano ba yung purpose ko behind that? I want it to be laid back. Kasi most of the time, you want your pads to just be there. The atmosphere. Yun yung vibe ko sa pad. So I like it that way. Siguro in some songs, you can use this one. Like... Jesus culture ba yun na... Anyway, what song is that? Comment nyo na lang below na nakakalimutan ko yung song na yun. <laughs> 
So eto, this is the full sound of my keyboard again. So let me play it for you with everything in it. And then let me play the second one in its rawest form. No nothing, no effects, just the regular presets dito sa uh, Ableton. Let's now go to the raw, no effects, no nothing, just the regular presets of the effects. Indian. <laughs> There you go, you guys can just experiment on this. You can now create your own and just have fun using this software. I'm telling you, it's possible to use budget tools to create great, you know, sounding patches for your worship time. And you guys enjoy. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below. If you are new to this channel, please, please lay hands on that subscribe button so that you won't miss any video content that I will be posting soon and very soon until Jesus comes. This is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. See you on the next video. Peace, you all.